Welcome to using Microsoft OneNote. This is Scott Wyman. I'll be your presenter for this entire course. I'm going to try and break it down into smaller sections so that if you have to, you know, get up and leave, you don't have to come back and go, you know, through an entire hour of video to get caught up to where you were. So I'll try and keep it to 15, 20 minutes, I hope. So we're going to start with just the basics. I'll tell you a little bit about OneNote, what it is. Um, maybe a little bit why I like it. Because OneNote is not the only note-taking app out there. Um, there's uh, Microsoft, or, uh, not Microsoft, but uh, Google Keep. Keep is a good little uh, note-taking application. I use it. On the side, um, it's it's good for, and you know, to do lists, small, individual things. Uh, there's also uh, an application out there called uh, Nimbus. Nimbus is a really good alternative. Um, to be honest with you, I I've used it in the past. It uh, it's not so bad. Um, and there's also one out there called Evernote. Evernote has some really, really good features as well, but in order to get your information from the cloud or online saved locally to where you can work on it um, without having an internet connection, you have to pay Evernote to have that functionality. So of all the ones that I've, and these, these aren't the only ones I've tried, I've tried many more than just those, those three or four. But OneNote just has so much flexibility. It's, it's very pliable. It allows you to add, remove, move, and modify just about everything that you put into it. And one of the best things about it, it's free. Yeah, free, totally free. Everything you do on OneNote, um, and, it's, and it's, I'm sure there are some add-ons that you can go out and, and find that want to charge money for it, but, but in its basic form, which will do 90% of probably everything you have, um, it's free. It's put out by Microsoft. It comes with every Microsoft Office package. So if you have Office on your computer, you probably have OneNote. If you don't, then you can go out to the Windows Store and you can download it for free. If you don't have Windows, maybe you have a Mac. OneNote is truly cross-platform. You can go out to the Apple Store and, and purchase, well, not purchase it, but download it for your Mac. It's available for cell phones. Uh, it's available for tablets. And I'll just show you a few examples. So right here you're looking at right now is my desktop version uh, on my laptop. Understand that there are two different versions of OneNote. I'll give you a peek of the online version, this is the online version, and this is what they call the desktop version. The biggest difference is the desktop version has a few more tools that are available to you as opposed to the online version, sometimes called the Windows 10 version. So here you can see we don't have a full-blown ribbon, we just have some buttons across this main toolbar. And then we have the insert tab, the draw tab, the view tab. And we have all those same tabs on the desktop version plus. So we have the file tab now we add because uh, all of Windows applications come with a file tab. Then the home tab, the insert tab, and you'll see we got a few more tools. And we have the draw tab again with a few more tools. Here on the desktop we have the, the history tab which can <laughs> really be a big uh, lifesaver. Uh, and we have the review tab for if you're working on a collaboration, you can use the review tab to do um, uh, other things as well. The other big difference between the two is the desktop version. You can save the files or your notebooks to your computer. The online version or the Windows 10 version will only save the files or your notebooks to a OneDrive account. So you have to have a Microsoft 
OneDrive account. So either a Hotmail email address, an Outlook.com email address, or just uh, you know have a not really a subscription, but an account on OneDrive. Basic accounts are free, so again, this this costs you nothing to use. Um, if you don't, if you want to work online and you don't have a, a OneDrive account, you can go out and create yourself an Outlook.com email. And by I'm by no means promoting Microsoft with this, but being a Microsoft product, that's the only other place you can save it is to the cloud in OneDrive. So the majority of what I'm going to show you today is going to be working from the desktop version. Uh, you do have an option to save your desktop notebooks to the cloud as well. That way they would be accessible um, on other devices. So for example, if I open my personal notebook and here I'm on, I'm on my travel tab and I'm looking at the Washington Photos page. You see, I took some photos while I was up in Washington State, some pictures of Mount McKinley. And then if I show you the same notebook, there's my same personal notebook on my cell phone. And this is an Android Galaxy S8. I don't know how well you can see that, but um, that's the notebook. And then I'll bring up, I will bring up my Sorry about that, I, I switched to, to sticky notes. But there's there's my notebook, all right? You can see all the same tabs that we have going across the desktop. And if I change this to the travel tab, there's my travel tab, I have two pages. And if I select the Washington photos, there you can see all the same photos. There's the, the pavilion. I scroll down, you can see the pictures of Mount McKinley, right? Or not, <laughs> not Mount McKinley. <laughs> yeah, Mount McKinley. All right, so we got the same pictures, same, same. And then I can also bring up, I have a, a Nook, which is essentially a little Android tablet. All right, there's my Android tablet. If I open OneNote, and there you can see the same notebook same sections and I'm on the Washington Photos tab so if I stroll over there you can see the same photos so it's it's really kind of cool that all this works in conjunction um, and to go even one step farther I have an old iPhone 5s um, that all I use it for essentially is music, a music player, and also I keep OneNote on here. So if I open OneNote and open my personal notebook, you'll see there's all the same tabs. I hope you can see that. And if I go to my travel tab, there you can see the Tampa photos and Washington photos. I'll open Washington photos and there's all the same photos. I'm gonna try something, I'm gonna move this top photo on my laptop, I'm going to bring it down beside the first photo of Mount McKinley. And hopefully that once this refreshes, uh, you'll see that photo move right along with what I did on the desktop. So I'll bring back up my, my Android. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna sync my notebook. Go to my options and sync personal notebook. And you'll see it move that photo right down alongside where it belongs or where I put it. Same thing here on my, my little iPhone. There's the iPhone. And there it just moved it down. So really just a, a really good all around note taking and note gathering application. 
and that I mention it's free. <laughs> All right, so um, we're going to start with just a general layout. And for that, I'll just go back to, um, I'll just go to this notebook because it's this is what you'll you'll see most of the time when you first open Microsoft OneNote. It gives you some some little tips on on what it can do. Uh, there's a couple little videos there. Here's some OneNote basics. Uh, again, this is this comes along with when you first open it. These are the first two pages that you'll see. Um, so here in the general layout, what we have up here in the top left corner is your notebook tab. You use the notebook tab to select, open, close, and create notebooks. So I'm going to click this notebook tab and you can see I have two notebooks open right now. I have the Scots notebook which we're looking at now and then my personal notebook we can switch back to and that's one where I had my pictures of Washington. To add a new notebook, you would use this Add Notebook button. We'll get to that part. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm just showing you. If you have other notebooks created but aren't open on this device yet, you can click the Open Other Notebooks. And then you also have what they call Quick Notes, and we'll talk about Quick Notes later on too. So that's your Notebook tab. Uh, a couple things that you can do with your notebooks here in the Notebook tab. You can rearrange the order of the books and how they show up in your library. Let me just open another one just to, to show you an example. Um, I'll go here to Work Notes, my Work Notebook. Nope, oh, that's the wrong Work Notebook. I have a couple of Work Notebooks. Work notes. There we go. So this notebook is is actually saved on OneDrive. So um, so this is just some you know notes that I have for for when I'm at work. These are some some eTrieve notes. Um, and at, across the top here, you'll see that we have these section tabs. We're going to get into the section tabs too. But but what I wanted to show you is that you can rearrange how your books appear in the menu just by clicking and dragging and wherever that horizontal black line is that's where it's going to put that notebook so if I want to put work notes all the way at the top I drag it until that line shows up above the top notebook. I can change the color of my notebooks if I right click on the notebook that I want to make a change to. Um, down here is, is uh, properties option click on properties and then here I can change the color of my notebook. Maybe I want to make this one blue. I can change the display name of my notebook and I'll, I'll show you this more later on too. Uh, but essentially what you can do is you can give your your notebook a nickname but it won't change the file name and I'll again I'll show you that. So these are just some of the things that you can do. After the notebook, once you get a notebook created, now you're ready to start working on your sections or tabs as I call them. So every new notebook comes with one new section and it's, it's titled new section. You can change the name of a section by double clicking and then retyping your new name. I call this one OneNote Basics. Just Easy as, easy as pie. There's really nothing difficult about this. I can add sections by clicking this Add Section button. Give it a name. There you go. Um, you can, and we're going to get more into some of the other functions of the sections here in just a little while as well. But you have your notebooks, you have your sections, and then over here on the right side, you have your pages or your page tabs. These are section tabs, these are page tabs. Every new section comes with one untitled page. To give your page a title, 
you simply type whatever you want to call it up here in this title area above the date and time. So I'll call this I want to note stuff. And you'll see that my title here duplicates over here on the page title or page tab. So again, nothing, nothing difficult. Okay. Then here in the middle, we have this, what they call the canvas. The Microsoft OneNote canvas, folks, is huge. This isn't just an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper like you have in, in Word or even, you know, the, the size of a slide in PowerPoint. Uh, let me find something. Well, let me just go to my, my photos here in my personal notebook. So these photos are pretty big. Um, comparing them to this, this text, this text is size 17. If I make it bigger, like maybe a size 28, if you're familiar with font sizes, you know that size 28 font is pretty big. So if I zoom out, all right, there you can see how much space you have on this canvas. And that's not even the end of, end of it. If I take this photo and drag it across, you'll see it just pushes everything else off to the left. And now there's my photo. See, I'm, I'm still scrolling, okay? So now you can see how much space we actually have on this canvas. And again, that's not, that's not the end. I can keep scrolling over, all right? I really don't know where the end of the canvas is. I've never found the end of the canvas. I've never had a need to, to, to put that much stuff on a single page for the canvas. So that's one of the one of the great things about OneNote is you're not limited by space. I'll just bring this back over so I can find it later on. And then I'll I'll zoom back in. I'll select that photo and zoom back in. So that's your canvas. Canvas, page tabs, section tabs, and then your notebook menu. So I think we're going to call this the end of this section. And when we start the new section, we'll look at um, modifying section tabs, modifying pages, adding sections, adding pages, and maybe, maybe start into actually adding notes and other goodies to our canvas. So for now, I'll say uh, goodbye, adios. I'll free to his aim and um, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you for round two. Take care.